The Cloud Spotter by Tom McLaughlin, published by Bloomsbury. His real name was Franklin, but everyone called him The Cloud Spotter. The Cloud Spotter didn't have many friends. It was just him and his clouds always. He would spend his days all by himself spotting big clouds, sneaky clouds, sneaky pretend they can't see you clouds, and angry clouds. You see, the cloud spotter didn't just spot clouds, he spotted adventures in the sky. That way he didn't feel so alone. He could swim with giant jellyfish, drive racing cars, and be the king of the castle. But one day, everything changed. The scruffy dog came along, and she seemed to be looking for something too. Was she after his clouds? The cloud spotter wasn't happy. He wasn't used to sharing his clouds with anyone. But the scruffy dog didn't seem to care. Wherever the cloud spotter went, that bothersome dog went too. No matter what time of day or night. Before long, she was even playing along in his adventures. And that clouds butter decided wouldn't do at all. It was time for the scruffy dog to go. The cloud spotter put his plan into action and at last he was alone again. He should have been happy. He should have been pleased. However, something just didn't feel right. The cloud spotter was lonely. Could it be, he wondered, that the scruffy dog had been searching for something else? Something like a friend. Because everyone knows two cloud spotters are better than one especially when they are best friends. <laughs>